You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible Why Every Good Christian is an Atheist First thing we need to sort out is the meaning of words God You see, only an initial capital distinguishes God from gods The initial capital looks like those we use to use for respect for words like Bible and Him Perhaps we use it because God functions as a name But actually the fact that we use it distinguishes the two words so that they don't mean the same thing A God and God with a capital G act like two completely different words See the definition at OxfordDictionaries.com God is defined first as in Christianity and other monotheistic religions the creator and ruler of the universe and source of all moral authority the supreme being whereas God with a small g is defined as in certain other religions a superhuman being or spirit worshipped as having power over nature or human fortunes a deity a moon god the Hindu god Vishnu and so on you see those two things are completely different let's compare them a god is a superhuman being God is the maker of everything a god is often in conflict or in partnership with other similar beings God needs no one else a god is part of a number of sets of groups God with a capital G is unique and only so a god is part of the group or set of gods but God with a capital G is not a god a god is part of usually the set or group of males or of females God with a capital G is not gendered a god might be part of the group of rainmakers God with a capital G is simply not part of any class or set of beings and here we come to the Christian mistake you see there are a number of useful descriptions or names of God because to talk about the one who made everything is really difficult because to talk realistically about God is nearly impossible without using pictures which are only partially true the problem is that we often take those pictures or names that are partially true and think they actually describe God that we've kind of pocketed God put him neatly in a box rather than merely pointing towards what God is like it's particularly dangerous with the two names Father and Lord because when we take them and we use them so exclusively we risk thinking that God is merely a male God with a small g part of the class or group of beings who are male not God with a capital G part of no class or group of beings unique this is balanced by an equal and opposite atheist mistake the atheist mistake is also to equate God with a God with a small g but to do it quite obviously you don't believe they say in Zeus or Asherah or and they list a whole load of others well I just don't believe in one more God than you don't believe in I don't believe in Yahweh either no this I just believe in one less God doesn't work because God does not equal God with a capital G there are some clues to this not a God in the Bible but sometimes the Bible actually makes it difficult for us you see sometimes God is mentioned as being among the gods because particularly in the Old Testament the picture is being taken up of the head God of a pantheon and we're being told that this is a bit like what Yahweh is like so in Psalm 82 verse 1 God has taken his place in the divine council in the midst of the gods he holds judgment it's a picture as a picture it's partly true God is a bit like but this is not an accurate description of what God is like it doesn't capture the fullness of God it's an image no more picture language is always helpful well can be helpful but it's always dangerous the other approach though which in the Bible which does help us much more is that the gods are nothing for example in Isaiah 44 verse 6 and following a classic place 
Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. Who is like me? Let them proclaim it. Let them declare and set it forth before me. Who has announced from of old the things to come? Let them tell us what is yet to be. Do not fear or be afraid. Have I not told you from of old and declared it? You are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? There is no other rock. I know not one. Notice the use of lots of pictures there, including rock, redeemer, king. But the key to it is that the Lord, Yahweh, is no God. There is no God beside God. This, of course, led to the accusation early in the Christian period that Christians were atheists. They were called atheists because they didn't believe in gods. They didn't sacrifice to gods, and they had no temples. Of course, Christians tried to turn the charge around, and many of the early Christians claimed that since the gods had no existence or were demons, only God existed, and therefore polytheists were real atheists. So you see, every good Christian is an atheist. Every good Christian believes in no gods, not one, only the maker of all. Bye for now.